in the art of computer programming, you wrote, the real problem is that programmers have spent far too much time worrying about efficiency in the wrong places and at the wrong times. Premature optimization is the root of all evil, in parentheses, or at least most of it in programming. Can you uh, explain this idea? Uh, what's the wrong time? What is the wrong place for our optimization? So f first of all, the word optimization. I, I, I started out writing software uh, and optimization was, I was a compiler writer. So optimization meant uh, making the, uh, making a better translation it, 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 so that it would run faster on a on a machine so mm -hmm. an optimized program it's just like you know you 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 run a pr program and you set the optimization level uh, for mm -hmm. uh, to, to the compiler so that's one w word for optimization um, and at that time I I happened to be looking in an unabridged dictionary uh, for some reason or other and I came to the word optimize it's just, so what's the meaning of the word optimize? And it says to view with optimism. <laughs> and and, and you, you look in Webster's yeah. dictionary of the English language in the early 1960s, that's what optimize me meant. Okay. Um, now, so people started doing cost optimization, other kinds of things, uh, uh, you know, whole subfields of, of, uh, algorithms and economics and whatever are, are based on what they call optimization now. But mm -hmm. uh, but to me, optimization, when I was saying that, was saying uh, uh, changing a program to make it more uh, tuned to the machine. And I found out that uh, uh, w w when a person writes a program, uh, he or she t tends to think that the parts that were hardest to write are going to be hardest for the computer to execute. So, 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 so maybe I have ten pages of code, but it, I, I had to work a week writing this page. I, I mentally think that when the com computer gets to that page, it's going to slow down. <laughs> right. Uh, it's going to say, "Oh, I don't understand what I'm doing. I better, I better be more careful." Anyway, this is, of course. Silly, but it's it, it's something that we that we that, that we don't know when we write a piece of code. We don't know what, mm -hmm. what whether the computer is actually going to be executing that code very much. Mm -hmm. So so people had had a very poor understanding of uh, of what the computer was actually doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I made one test where where we we studied a, a Fortran compiler. And it was spending more than eighty percent of its time reading the comments card. Mm -hmm. um, but as a programmer, we were really concerned about how fast it could take a, a complicated expression that had lots of levels of parentheses mm -hmm. and, and, and 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 convert that in, in, into something. But that was just you know less than one percent of the. Uh, 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 so, so if we optimized that. Uh, uh, we, we didn't know what we were doing, but 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 if if we knew that it was spending eighty percent of his time on the comments mm -hmm. card, you know, in ten minutes we could we could make the the, uh, the compiler run more than twice as fast. And you can only do that once you've completed the program, we, we, and then you empirically I, study where I had some kind of profiling that that I knew what was important. Yeah. So uh, but you you don't think this applies generally? I mean, there's something that rings it, true to this it, it, across I'm all. I'm glad of that it applied generally, but it, but it was it was only my good luck. It, I, I said it, but you know, but I, but I did, but I said it in a limited context, and I and and I'm glad if it makes people think about stuff because I I'm I, you know, I, but it applies in another sense too. That is, um, sometimes I will. Do optimization in a, in a way that does help the, the the actual running time, but makes the program impossible to change next week, right. be, because I've changed my data structure or something that that made it less adaptable. Right. So one of the great uh, uh, principles of computer science is 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 laziness or whatever you call it, uh, uh, late binding. Uh, you know, don't. You hold hold off decisions when you can, um, and, <laughs> and 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 you know, and we understand now uh, quantitatively how valuable that is. What, what do you mean? We understand. So you mean from I, a people 
people have written theses about how you can how late binding will will improve the. I mean, you you know, just in time manufacturing or whatever, mm -hmm. you, you can make you can defer a decision instead of doing your advanced planning and say I'm going to allocate thirty percent to this and fifty percent. So in that, all that, kinds of domains, there's an optimality to laziness the, in many it, cases. It, decision is not made in advance, so instead you 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 design. In order to be flexible, uh, uh, to to change with the uh, uh, with the way the wind is blowing. Yeah, but so the reason that line resonated with a lot of people is because uh, there's something about the programmer's mind that wants that enjoys optimization. Yeah. So it's a constant struggle to balance laziness and late binding with the desire to optimize. To, the the elegance of a well optimized code is something that's compelling yeah. to programming. Yeah, it's uh, another concept of beauty. 